All right, Sammy, can you show us your leaves? What kind of leaves did you get for us? I got a maple leaf. Very nice. And a leaf from our boxer bushes. Okay, very nice. And those are perfect for what we're going to talk about today. So let's jump to our scripture reading. And this is from the Old Testament, and it's in the poetry section of the Old Testament. And if you're comfortable, I'm going to ask you to read this. And don't remember, I'll be here if we have any struggles. And so here we have, and start from the top. And remember, this is in the poetry section of the Old Testament. So whenever you're ready. Okay. Ecclesiastes 3. Everything has its time. For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to pluck up what, what has been planted. Uh, a time to kill, a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep, a time to laugh. A time to mourn, 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 right? Uh, a time, what? What? Okay, go ahead. A time to mourn, and mourn means feel sad. Like when somebody, you, when you lose somebody, uh, when somebody dies, you feel really bad. That's what mourning is, okay? It's, uh, not, okay? it's not early in the day. It's a different kind of mourning. So, Start right there in, in verse four, a time to weep. Start right there, okay? A time to weep, a time to laugh, a time to mourn, a time to dance, a time to throw away stones, a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, a time to refrain, refrain from embracing. A time to seek, a time to lose, a time to keep, a time to throw away, a time to tear, a time to seal. So, and that sewing so, means like using needle and thread. So back uh -huh. in, in verse 7, a time to tear, tear means to rip apart. Okay. okay. So a time to tear and a time to sew, meaning put together. Okay, so start again in... In verse 7, please. Thank you, Sammy. Okay. A time to tear, a time to sell, a time to keep silence, a time to speak, a time to love, a time to hate, a time to war, a time for peace. Okay. Now, there's a lot of times in there. Now, uh, uh, what, what, what do you think? And, and there are no right answers on this right now. But what do you think the author of this poem, what do you think the author of this poem is trying to say? What are your thoughts about it? Um, there's a time for everything. There's a time for everything. Right. Okay. All right. A lot of people struggle with this and you, you're working right on it. Very good. Very good. So it's a, there's a time for everything. So I want you to keep those, those words, those verses in your head as we move forward. Okay. okay. Oh, now, I want you to show me your leaves again. Okay. Okay. So, where did you get those leaves? I got this one on the ground. Okay. Very good. And the other one you plucked off of a bush? Uh-huh. Okay. So, they're leaves. Okay. What, are, what do, what, where do you find leaves? Where do you find them? Most plants have them. Most Actually, plants? all have them. Right. Okay. Any idea what leaves do? Uh, they collect moisture. Moisture. Okay. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about that. Okay. So okay. what color? What color are your leaves? Uh, one is yellow and one is green. One's green. Okay. And during the summer, what color are most leaves? Green. Green. Okay. We're going to talk about that. And the purpose of leaves for plants. <laughs> And we're going to bring something up here. And here we have it. Okay. Can you see that? What, what do you see? So I know you're seeing the same thing I am. A sunflower and process of, of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. Very good. Process of photosynthesis. Have you heard 
that word before? Have you learned about that in school? Photosynthesis? I've heard it, but I don't know what it means. Okay. All right. So if we're not sure what a word is, okay, well, let's back up a little bit. Let's say your mom gave you a whole pizza, a whole 12 yeah. pizza, okay? And you're going, and she says, I want you to eat this whole pizza, okay? And do you take the whole pizza and shove it in your mouth at once? <laughs> uh-uh. What do you do to help you eat that pizza? Uh, cut it into pieces. Cut it into pieces. Okay. So I want you to remember this as you're going forward in life. If you come across something and it's it's just too big to understand, what do you think I want you to do if something's too cut big? It. Cut, cut it, it into in. pieces. Cut it into pieces so you can better understand. So you can you can eat it a little easier. So if we take the word photosynthesis, okay? And we cut it in in two words. And the first word is photo. And the second word is synthesis. Photo and synthesis. Okay, let's just talk about photo today. Where have you heard that word before? Um, when you take a picture of something. Take a picture. That's a photo or a photograph. You have a bunch of photographs behind your head, right? Uh -huh. Okay, so photosynthesis. So... Um, the word photosynthesis comes from the Greek language, Greek language, and photo, okay, thinking about photographs, photo, photo, the word photo means light. It's a Greek word for light. Okay. Why, are why are photos also called that, that you put on your wall? Okay, let's talk about that. That's a great question, Sammy. Let's talk about that. So you see those photographs behind you. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's a photograph. What do you need to get a, a photograph? Um, a camera. A camera, right. And the camera takes a picture, right? Or a photograph, okay? Uh -huh. So let's say your mom wanted to, oh, Sammy, I want to take a picture of you now that you got your shot, okay? But you were standing in the basement and, and there were no windows and the lights were out, okay? Mm -hmm. could, could your mom take a picture of you? No. Why not? Um, because it's too dark it's and the camera dark. can't see me. Right. So what does a camera need to take a picture? Light. Light. Uh, okay, you see it? So it's a <laughs> camera is sort of like capturing light on, yeah. on a photograph. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. Okay, so photo means, is Greek for light, okay? Synthesis, have you ever heard the term synthesis before? No. Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to move forward with this one. It's also a Greek root, and it means to put together. To synthesize something means to put stuff together. Ah, oh, okay. I thought it meant to... I thought it, I always thought it was to make stuff louder. Oh, like a synthesizer? Yeah. Okay. Well, what a synthesizer does is it, it puts sounds together and then sends uh -huh. them out. Make sense? Yeah. Right? So a synthesizer, you're putting a whole bunch of sounds together into one box, right? Mm-hmm. Putting sounds together. So photosynthesis, photo mean light, and synthesis meaning what? Synthesis meaning putting together. Putting together. So what do you think photosynthesis means? Light and putting together. Okay, so using light and putting together. Okay, so let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. This is fascinating. So um, we have our plant, it's a sunflower. And what do, first of all, let's ask you, Sammy, what do you need to live? What do you need to survive? Food. Other than, other than lots of love from your mother. Your father, right? <laughs> food, water, and what else? Just food and water. Food and water. So if I put you in a big plastic bag, you would be. And air. Right? And air. Okay. Because I would put a sandwich in a, in a glass of water in there for you. But right, you need food, water, and air. And never do that. Don't put yourself in a plastic bag. I wasn't, no. I was just using that as an example. So food, water, and air. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk about, that's what you need. 
And so we're gonna talk about some of the things a plant needs to survive, okay? So we have a picture of this plant and it needs food, water, and air, sort of, okay? But in a different way. All right, so do you see where the water is on the picture? Yeah. Okay, where is the water entering the plant? It's on the ground. It's on the ground. So where, how would the plant drink the water? Through what? Its roots. Through its, through its roots, right. And you were right. Sometimes plants can, there are some plants who actually absorb moisture from the air through their leaves. Like cactuses. Like, um, yeah, well, cactuses well, also go through their roots. But, they uh, store their water for a long time. Right, they're able to store a lot. Um, like an orchid, and I, this is your project to look up, look up orchids, because okay. orchids in the tropics, in the tropics, they live, some live up in the trees, and they, their roots never make it to the ground, so wow. they take in moisture, well, I'm not, I'm going to ask you to find out where, how do they take in moisture, okay? Okay. Okay, so that's your project for this week. All right, so okay. the plant takes in water through its roots. And then on the left side is, is all the things the plant takes in. What's the top on the list of things a plant takes in? Sunlight. Sunlight. So a plant needs light, sunlight to survive. If you put a plant in a dark room for a long time, the plant would not survive really well because it needs light, okay? So it needs sunlight and it needs water. So that's sort of food and water and the last thing, it's in the middle. What is that other word? Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. You know where carbon dioxide comes from? Um, cars and trucks. Cars and trucks. And you know who else gives off carbon dioxide? Cows. Cow <laughs> cows. And, and a certain young man named Sammy. <laughs> okay. Wait, we, how do I get? We, when we exhale, we give off carbon dioxide. Wow. Yep. So plants need us to get the, they need carbon dioxide. Um, and what kind of air do we need? Uh, we need uh, oxygen. Oxygen. Okay. So carbon dioxide is what plants need. We need oxygen. See, so let's look what the plants give away. They take in sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water. And they give off, what's the first thing that plants give off? The top on the oxygen. list? Oxygen. Oxygen. It's like we were made to be working together, plants and humans, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So you always need to have a plant around somewhere, Sammy. Because yeah. right, you're helping the plant by giving it carbon dioxide. And the plant is giving us oxygen. Okay. And what's the other thing that plants give off? Sugar. Sugar, right. Now, um, it, it shows two sugar cubes, but most plants give off sugar in different ways, okay? Uh, yeah. Have you ever had like a carrot? Yes. Okay, have you ever eaten a, a plant and it almost tasted sweet? Yeah. Okay, so that's the kind of thing. Starches and sugars, that's what plants put into their food, okay? And, um, Sometimes we give it to them, though. Right, we, we, plants need fertilizer as well. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. So here we have the process of photosynthesis. Well, what does photosynthesis mean again, Sammy? I'm trying to remember here. Light and putting it together. Putting it together. Do you see what it's happening? It takes the light, the plant, and it puts it together. It in, makes oxygen and sugar. It makes oxygen and sugar, right. Okay, so now you mentioned like, cars and stuff, cars throw off carbon dioxide, cows give off carbon dioxide, Almost all, hum, all animals that breathe give off car, carbon dioxide, okay? Uh -huh. There are also other gases, um, like cows give off a lot of methane gas. That's why their poop stinks, because it's filled with methane gas. Uh -huh. uh, but I'm gonna tell you that um, in that same vein, humans give off methane gas too. Okay. Down to all animals? All animals do, right, because it's part of the bacteria breaking down our waste, okay? That's why sometimes it smells a little funny sometimes. Yeah. That's methane gas, okay? So, and those are things that are 
not good for the planet. And we, we'll talk about climate uh, change another time, but what, our, what we need more than anything is lots and lots of plants because plants give us what? Plants give us oxygen. Oxygen, right. And the sugars are also used in the food that we eat. Like, um, have you ever eaten cornflakes? Or corn uh, on the cob? Or corn yeah. on the cob? Okay. That's, you're eating the sugars that the corn plant made. Wow. Right? Okay. So. Is that, is that why there's no air on other planets? Because they don't have trees? That, you know, you're getting ahead of me here. But exactly, exactly. Because we need plants. Um, sometimes, Sammy, you and I are going to walk through cre creation. And, <laughs> and we'll see how, how close it is linked to evolution. And because we need plants before we can have breathing animals. And you're, mm -hmm. you're ding, ding, you're already on that page. Okay, so now you mentioned earlier that leaves, mostly most leaves in the summer, what color are they? Green. Green. Do you know why they're green? Um, uh-uh. Okay, well, that's why we're here. We're going to slide this down a little bit. And can you see the bottom of the page? Do you see what the green leaf? Can you see that? Uh-huh. Or do I need to go down a little bit more? I can see the green leaf. Okay. And can you tell me, can you try to guess what that word is? The C, it starts with a C-H? Chorolophy. Okay. You're really close. You're really close. Okay. Okay. It's chlorophyll. Chlorophyll. Uh, Have you ever heard of chlorophyll before? Yeah. Okay. Where can you tell me where you've heard chlorophyll or what it might mean? Can you think? It of that? sounds like a medicine. Oh, it does. It does sound like medicine. So chlorophyll is part of the plant, and it's green. Okay. Uh, so the leaves are filled with chlorophyll because the chlorophyll is what makes the photosynthesis happen. But why does um, pine needle is not turn, they don't turn? We're going to get to that in just a second, okay? <laughs> I promise you, I promise you, don't jump ahead. So chlorophyll is, and they're called pigments, meaning they're different colors. So trees, mostly, most trees in the summer are green because the, what does the sh plant need a lot of? It's, Light. Okay, and it, so. Water. Uh, Water, right, okay. And so it also wants to produce a lot of sugar because it stores that sugar to eat later, okay? Have you ever okay. had ma maple syrup? Yeah. Okay, where does maple syrup come from? It comes from a plant. Do you know which plant? No, wait, it comes from a tree. Oh, do you know what tree it comes from? A sugar maple. Uh, hold up your plant, your leaf once more. It comes from a maple tree. I don't know if that's a sugar maple tree. There's all different kinds of maples, but a sugar maple, maple. So what they do is all summer long, those the leaves filled with chlorophyll are taking in the sunlight, the carbon dioxide in the water, and they're converting it to oxygen and sugar. And the oxygen they give off for them, it's like almost like a waste material. And then they're, but they're also con, uh, converting the sunlight, carbon dioxide, water into sugars, and they store the sugars. Cool. So they, so they have food over the winter to survive on. Okay. Because uh, they don't have leaves in the winter. Right. They. Ding, ding, ding. Gold star for you. Sort of like when uh, squirrels they 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 uh, gather up a bunch of nuts to store away uh -huh. for the winter because they know they won't be able to find them. That's what plants are doing all summer long. They're producing all this sugar and to be able to store away to eat when it gets cold and they can't eat anymore. Okay, we're gonna get to your pine needles in just a second. So, okay, okay. so my next question for you is, wait, what, hold up your leaf once more. What color is that? It's yellow. Okay, so did you find one, just go outside and you found only one yellow leaf outside? No, th there is multiple. 
There's multiple. So what color are the leaves in the trees now? Yellow. Yellow. And what other colors? Red and orange. Red and orange. And some are brown. Right. So what? why aren't they green anymore? Uh, I'm going to ask not, you to hypothesize. Why do you think they're not green anymore? Because um, they, it's, there's less rain because it starts to snow. Okay. We're going to talk about that. Hold on. I'm going to bring this up. Now, there are other colors inside that leaf as well. Okay. Wow. Okay. So in that leaf, there's this xanthophyll and that's yes. a yellow color. So in the leaf you're holding right there, there's a lot of xanthophyll. Okay. Oh, I want to back up. Chlorophyll, chlorophyll, chlorophyll. Say that with uh -huh. chlorophyll. Chlorophyll. Is, um, you can break that word down into two words, chloro and phil. Phil means leaf. It's Greek for leaf. Okay. Oh, I that. Now, right. And when you go back into the Greek word is a little different, but let's just say the, the word phil, P-H-Y-L-L -L means leaf. And chloro would mean, any idea what chloro might be? Green. Oh! Very good. Chloro means green and phil means leaf. So when the leaves are filled with chlorophyll, what color are they? Green. Green. Okay. So just a month ago, when the leaves were all bright green, they were filled with chlorophyll. Okay. Uh -huh. And you were talking about winter starts coming. Okay. And the tree starts knowing that it's turning to fall. Any ideas how the tree knows? What happens when it turns to fall? Um, it gets colder and there's less rain. Um, sometimes there's less rain. I, I don't want to mislead you. It does start getting colder. Um, but sometimes we have a lot of rain in the fall. But what else yeah. happens? What else happens in the fall? What just happened on Sunday, Saturday to Sunday, this past weekend? Um... What, would, what did we do with the clocks? Oh, we changed them. Do you know why we changed them? Uh, it's, so, it's because farmers don't need to harvest anymore. Okay, right. I'm, I'm going to clear that up. Daylight saving time has nothing to do with farmers. That's it what has, I... Right. No, no, that's right. A lot of people say that it's, it, it was started by the government so businesses could be open longer in the light. Huh? How okay. could... How does the government control the weather? It, it does. It only it only changes how we how we time things. So uh, okay, right? So you understand that farmers will uh, get up whether it's light out or dark out because the cows need to get milk. I know I I did that myself for many years. <laughs> okay, but okay. Uh, part of the reason is it gets dark earlier in the day. That's why we change the time. So. Sammy, why is it getting darker earlier in the day? Um, because uh, it's turning to winter and right. the earth is starting to face the other direction of the sun. Right. Well, it's starting to tilt and the days are much what? Uh, the days are much shorter. Shorter, right. So that means if days are shorter, we have a lot less what? We have a lot less sunlight. Oh, you are so smart. Okay. And the trees start noticing that they start going, wait, have you noticed it's less sunlight? Oh, fall must be coming. So what they do is they, they've created, used all that chlorophyll to produce all that that's, uh, food storage. And then as it starts getting to be fall, the tree says, okay, we don't need all this chlorophyll anymore because it takes a lot of energy to, to create all that uh, sugar and oxygen. So it starts pulling the chlorophyll out of the leaves. And ah. when, you, when you take the green out, whatever is left in there is what shows up. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. Yeah. So if you go outside, you'll see yellow leaves and you'll see orange leaves and you'll see red leaves and sometimes brown some trees some trees have yellow um orange and red so what does that tell you what's um, in 
that the red one has all the green pulled out of it and all the orange and all the yellow. Right. Well, okay. Right. So, like, let's look at the orange leaf on this picture. Uh, carotenoids. Carotenoids. I I'm, I'm think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Okay, break that word down into two words, and you have any ideas? What do you do? You see anything familiar in there? Carrot. Carrot. What color are carrots? Orange. Orange. So, what do you think is there's a lot of in carrots? Um. Carotenoid. Yeah, that's the word. Okay, so remember it's pigments. All right, so that's something cool to remember. So now you know how photosynthesis works. It uses chlorophyll in the, in the leaves to convert. I'm going to bring this up again. It to convert, uses light to put together, okay? Sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water to produce oxygen and sugars. Make sense? Uh-huh. Okay. And then things start changing in the fall, right, time, right where we are now, and things start changing, okay? So my question for you is, let's go back to this. I'm gonna bring this out. And you, you have been so great. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, remember this, what you read from Ecclesiastes? Yeah. Any idea how this, this poem from Ecclesiastes relates to what we're talking about today? Any um, that the leaves, the leaves have time for, what they have time for everything. Right. So in the summer, the time is there for leaves to do what? The, the, uh, to pull in sunlight and, and keep it green. Right. Sunlight and uh, uh, carbon dioxide and water to produce oxygen and sugars. And then as fall comes, there's a different kind of time. And it's time to do what? Pull all the carbon. The, go ahead. I'm sorry. Is to pull all of the grain out. Right. And then and then the, the leaves fall. Okay. Now a question for you. Number one, why do those like that maple tree, uh, why does it lose its leaves during the winter? Um it loses it because uh well the days are much shorter, which means less sunlight. Right. And because does snow go in, does snow go into the tree trunk? So can it get water there or does it not, or is it not able to get water in the winter? It, well, tree roots are very deep, so they can go deeper than, than the, where it's frozen. Um, uh, they also sort of go dormant kind of thing. But, but you're right about the days are so short and they don't have enough sunlight to create all the sugar that they would like. So the leaves are become, like the tree says, we don't need these leaves anymore. Okay? Yeah. It's sort of like- It's too and, much work. It's too much work, exactly. Because the, the tree wants to conserve as much energy as it can to survive through the winter. And it says, I, I can't spend this energy on producing all these leaves. They've, because they're not doing their job anymore. And I don't want it to sound like it's mean, but if the tree says, I, I can't use these leaves anymore. And so it lets them go. Okay. Sort of okay. like when you were growing up and, okay, what is something that you used as a really little, a little boy? And that you. Um, I. Okay. Let's, let's say diapers. Do babies need diapers? Yeah. Right. Okay. And then they grow up and do they, do they continue to need diapers? Uh -uh. Oh, so do they drag those diapers around with them? <laughs> no. No, I don't need these anymore, so I'm going to just drop the, the diapers. I don't need these anymore. I can move on. And that's sort of what trees do with the leaves. That's why they drop them in the winter, because I don't need to carry these around anymore, and that's taking up too much energy. So in Ecclesiastes, the writer was talking about there's a time for this, and there's a time for that, and there's a time for this, and there's a time for that. Okay, so when you see trees and you're struggling with something, like maybe you're having a class that's really, really hard, I want you to look at the trees. Yeah. And think, okay, the trees make it through winter because there's a time for winter. But then 
the time comes for summer again. Okay. So I want you to remember okay. that as you're going through tough times, like look at the tree and say, if the tree can make it through winter, I can make it through this class. Okay. Yeah. Make sense? All right. Mm -hmm. So very good. Very good. You are, you know what? You are so bright. I bet your mother calls you son. Okay. So um, you got your worksheet. Oh, sorry. The worksheet doesn't come up very well because um, of the thing. So I'm going to let that for you to work on. And because we covered pretty much everything. Okay. Um, um, energy and light are the same, similar, same thing. So in, okay. and it, on the thing, it says energy and light. And that means like sunlight. Okay. The light is energy. So it needs that. So I'm going to let you do the whole thing from top to bottom. Okay. And I'm going to actually let you do the Greek as well. Because we covered all that stuff. Remember? Like a, like a piece of pie, don't shove the whole pizza in your mouth. If you don't know, let's cut it in pieces and we'll eat it one piece at a time. Okay, make sense? Okay. So I'm going to let this worksheet for you to do this week. And I want you to look at trees in a different way. Okay. Okay. Because there, there's a time for green and there's a time for yellow and orange and red. And then there's a time for no trees. Okay. Now. We didn't answer your question. Hold up your other leaf. You had two leaves. You were so smart. Yeah. You had two. What do you notice about that one? It's all green. It's all green. Sammy, why, why are those leaves green compared to the maple leaves? Uh, they're small enough that the tree can keep them. Right. And they're, they're much hardier. Okay. Like, look at the, hold up both of those leaves. Both of your leaves. Okay. What do you notice about the maple leaf? Is that very strong or is it more fragile? It's more fragile and bigger. Right. Okay. So if the wind starts blowing in the winter, it would start tearing apart. But the other one is much uh -huh. stronger. So there are some trees called evergreens, like pine trees. And that other from that bush you have, and they're able to make it through the winter. That's why they can. Uh -huh. And why are they still green? Because they're not as much work to keep, and right. they're only needle. Right, they're much smaller, so they're okay. And why are they green? I'm going to ask you again. Why are they green? Because they um, have enough chlorophyll. You got this, young man. You got this. Okay. Oh, I, I didn't share you. I had some leaves too. Pick those up. Some I have a beautiful maple tree out in front of church as well. Okay. So you've learned so much, and we have so much to learn from this science thing. Okay. <laughs> and so much to understand. And, and that's what God was trying to help us understand. Um, cause it's, it's so complicated, but what will we, what do we do when something's complicated? Do we shove it all in our mouth at once? Uh, -uh we cut oh. it into pieces. We start breaking it apart so our human minds can understand. Okay. So keep that in mind when you see trees. I hope you see trees in a little different way because they're pretty mm -hmm. marvelous. Okay. Yeah. All right. So work on that worksheet. Um, uh, yeah. and we will go from there. Great class today, Sammy. Great class. Thank you. Thank you so much. You take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.